What does it mean to live a life well lived? This is a question that we often find ourselves pondering. A question that is elegantly explored in the masterful narrative of A Gentleman in Moscow. Penned by Amor Tools, this novel sweeps us off our feet and into the grandiose corridors of the Metropole Hotel, post-revolutionary Russia's epicenter of culture and luxury. We're introduced to Count Alexander Rostov, an unrepentant aristocrat in the eyes of the Bolsheviks, who is sentenced to a life that is both a gilded cage and a stage for remarkable human resilience. This hotel, opulent and ever-changing, mirrors the societal shifts that ripple through its walls, trapping the Count in a golden age that the world outside has left behind. As we journey through time with Count Rostov, we'll explore the profound themes that make this novel a true literary gem. So, without further ado, let's delve into the captivating world of Count Rostov. Imagine being confined within the walls of a grand hotel, a world within a world. This is the reality of Count Rostov. The Metropole Hotel, in all its grandeur, becomes his universe, his stage to witness the ebb and flow of life, and his lens to the shifting world outside. Amor Towels crafts this setting with an artist's precision and a poet's flair. Each hallway and room of the Metropole is painted with words, each corner a testament to the changing times. The grand ballroom, the buzzing restaurant, the quiet corners tucked away from the hustle and bustle, all become spaces where life unfolds in its many hues. And in the midst of it all, we find Count Rostov, a gentleman navigating life in his confined world. Towels' prose is a tapestry of exquisite detail, woven with threads of elegance and sophistication. His words dance off the page, sketching the metropole in strokes of vibrant color and subdued shadow, capturing the essence of an era marked by tumult and transformation. But the metropole is not just a setting, it evolves into a character in its own right. Its opulent halls bear silent witness to the shifting societal landscape, reflecting the changes that ripple through the fabric of post-revolutionary Russia. Within its walls, the hotel harbors tales of romance, friendship, loss, and resilience. It's a microcosm, a world within a world, echoing the rhythms of life outside its grand facade. As we delve deeper into the narrative, we see how Towels masterfully uses the metropole to mirror the larger world. The hotel's inhabitants represent the diverse cross-section of society, each with their own stories to tell. Count Rostov's interactions with them offer a glimpse into the human spirit's resilience and the beauty found in unexpected places. The metropole, in essence, is a microcosm of the world outside, mirroring the societal shifts of post-revolutionary Russia. It's a testament to Towles' genius that a setting can be so much more than a backdrop, but a living, breathing entity that shapes and is shaped by the narrative's ebb and flow. At the heart of this narrative is the character of Count Rostov, a man of refined tastes and unwavering principles. Count Rostov, a man of the old world, finds himself in a changing landscape as Russia shifts from aristocracy to communism. But despite his confinement, he remains a gentleman, a man of culture, wit, and resilience. Rostov's life within the metropole is a testament to the human ability to adapt and find purpose in even the most restrictive circumstances. His evolution from a nobleman used to the grandeur of aristocratic life to a man of simple pleasures encapsulates the transformative power of circumstance. He discovers joy in the mundane, savoring the taste of a well-cooked meal, the company of friends, and the simple pleasure of a good book. His relationships with the hotel staff, fellow residents, and the spirited young Nina are at the heart of his character development. Each interaction, each bond formed, adds a layer of depth to his character. His friendship with Nina in particular is a beautiful portrayal of an intergenerational bond that transcends the confines of the metropole. Through Nina, Rostov learns to navigate the hotel's hidden corners and in many ways, the corners of his own heart. Rostov's character is a testament to Towles' mastery in creating complex, relatable characters. The Count's charm, wit, and kindness make him a beloved figure within the Metropole and to us, the readers. The theme of human connection is deeply embedded in Rostov's narrative. Despite the physical confines of the hotel, his world expands through his relationships. They provide him with a sense of purpose and belonging, a testament to the power of human connection in creating a sense of home, even within the gilded cage of the Metropole. Rostov's relationships add layers of warmth and humanity, reflecting the resilience of the human spirit. His story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can find beauty, purpose, and connection, making life not just bearable, but truly meaningful. 
As we traverse the corridors of the metropole with Rostov, we are also journeying through decades of Russian history. The elegance of the metropole's gilded halls and the clink of fine china are not just elements of a well-crafted setting, but are also echoes of the past, resonating with the tumultuous events of the outside world. In A Gentleman in Moscow, Towles masterfully intertwines the narrative with the rich tapestry of Russian history. As we follow Count Rostov's life within the grandeur of the metropole, the world outside is undergoing seismic shifts. The Russian Revolution, the rise of Stalin, the throes of the Great Purge, and the chill of the Cold War all unfold beyond the hotel's walls. The genius of Towles' writing is in how these historical events are neither mere background noise nor overwhelming tide. Instead, they are threads woven into the fabric of the narrative, subtly influencing the lives of the characters, shaping their experiences, and adding depth to their stories. Count Rostov's existence within the metropole is a microcosm of these larger societal transformations. His evolution from an unrepentant aristocrat to a man content within his gilded cage mirrors the drastic changes that Russia undergoes during the same period. The Metropole Hotel, too, reflects these historical shifts. Once a symbol of aristocratic opulence, it becomes a stage where the drama of post-revolutionary Russia plays out. It's a world within a world, where each room tells a story, each hallway echoes with whispers of the past. This integration of historical context doesn't just add a layer of authenticity to the novel, it also amplifies its resonance, making the story of Count Rostov and the Metropole itself a testament to the endurance of the human spirit amidst the ebb and flow of history. In this way, A Gentleman in Moscow is not merely a novel, but a time capsule, a window into an era marked by upheaval and transformation. It's a reminder that even in the face of sweeping societal changes, the fundamental aspects of human existence, our connections, our resilience, our capacity for joy, remain unaltered. The novel provides a panoramic view of Russian history, lending a richness to the narrative that makes it all the more compelling. Now let's turn our attention to the profound themes that permeate the pages of A Gentleman in Moscow. A central concept in the novel is time. Throughout the story, the Metropole Hotel serves as a time capsule, reflecting the societal changes occurring outside its walls. Time is also a constant companion to Count Rostov, who, confined to the hotel, observes life as an outsider looking in. This exploration of time invites us to reflect on its passage and the marks it leaves on us and our surroundings. The theme of purpose is also prominent. As Count Rostov navigates his new existence within the Metropole, he must redefine his purpose in life. This journey underscores the importance of purpose in lending meaning to our lives. It reminds us that purpose can be found in the most unexpected places, and that even in confinement, one can lead a life filled with significance and fulfillment. Another philosophical concept that Towels beautifully portrays is the pursuit of a meaningful life. Despite his restricted existence, Count Rostov manages to create a life that is rich with experience, friendships, and personal growth. This theme prompts us to question what it means to live a meaningful life and how we can create such a life within our own circumstances. Reflection on the book's critical acclaim and its standing in the realm of historical fiction is also important. A Gentleman in Moscow has garnered immense praise for its richly drawn characters, its evocative setting, and its masterful blend of history and fiction. But what truly sets it apart is its universal resonance. The themes it explores, time, purpose, the pursuit of a meaningful life, are universally human and timeless. They speak to readers across cultures and generations, making the novel a universally resonant work of literature. Moreover, Towles' skillful storytelling, his attention to historical detail, and his ability to weave profound philosophical concepts into a compelling narrative have earned him a place among the luminaries of historical fiction. A Gentleman in Moscow is more than just a novel. It is a masterclass in storytelling, a deep dive into the human condition, and a testament to the power of resilience and the enduring spirit of humanity. In essence, A Gentleman in Moscow is a celebration of the human experience. It shows us that even in the most trying circumstances, the human spirit can find resilience, purpose, and beauty. It reminds us to savor the moments, to cherish our connections, and to seek out the extraordinary in the ordinary. What a journey it has been! exploring the corridors of the metropole and the life of Count Rostov. It's a testament to the power of literature to transport us to different times and places, 
and to offer insights into our own lives. In essence, A Gentleman in Moscow is a celebration of the human experience, a testament to resilience, and a toast to the enduring spirit of A Gentleman in Moscow.